Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be walking through activity 12-5 using restore points. This is from the MCTS guide to Microsoft Windows 7. In my edition of the book, this activity starts at the bottom of page 567. Um, I will be doing this in a virtual machine through VMware. So I have my virtual machine booted up and I'm logged in as an administrator. Um, so we're going to want to go to our start menu and jump over to control panel. Inside of our control panel, if you have it set up by icon, you can go to your recovery. Most people prefer the category view. A little bit easier to, a little more intuitive to find what you're looking for. I um, want to go to system and security in category and then select system. And then on the left we have system protection. So this will open our system properties with the system protection tab open by default. Um, what we want to do is we want to create a restore point. So we're going to say create. We're going to go ahead and call it manually or manual restore point. Go ahead and hit create and it'll automatically create a restore point from right now. Um, your system will also usually create a restore point anytime you install new software. Um, sometimes if you install new drivers it'll create a restore point. Um, if you make any significant changes sometimes it'll create a restore point. And it can also be set up to automatically create a restore point on a schedule. So this is how you manually create one but there are other options and other restore points that are created periodically. Um, we see that this manual creation was done successfully so we'll go ahead and hit that close button. Um, next thing we want to go ahead and close the system protection and then select I don't see our system restore so let's hop back over here we might actually need to keep that open to do oh there we are so hit close on your confirmation that it succeeded and we're just going to hit system restore right here And so this will walk us through selecting a restore point. And you can always hit this checkbox if you want to see all the others that are available. So we have a few. Um, looks like a couple that were automatic. automatic. Um, it created a restore point when it received a bunch of updates. A critical update specifically is what triggered it. Um, some software was installed that triggered a restore point creation. And there's the manual one that we just created. So I'm going to go ahead and hide those. We're just going to select the manual restore point anyways. You can always go ahead and hit your scan for affected programs. This will show you if something's been installed since the restore point that you might have to reinstall later. In any case, we'll select this and hit next. And then we want to hit finish here. And this is just confirming when it was created, the description. So we see that already registered that it was a manually created one and then we had manual in the name so that might be a little bit redundant um, you might be better off if you're actually doing this to protect your system give a legitimate description here why you created it or what kind of software you're planning on installing or have installed that's prompting you to create this restore point um, because it will automatically log the time and day as long as your settings are correct and it'll already tell you that it's a manual created, manually created restore point. So something a little bit more descriptive here would probably help you out. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit finish. Um, once it started, it cannot be interrupted. We already should have anticipated that. We're going to say yes. And as it goes through this restore process, it will have to reboot. So this will probably take a few minutes. And during this time, I'll probably go ahead and pause the recording just to let it get rebooted. There's not going to be anything special happening here. So I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so System Restore went through and completed its process. As it finished, it displayed a message stating that it had completed and that it was rebooting the computer. The computer's rebooting now and starting back up the operating system so we can get logged in.
just a moment, that is. There we go. So we'll go ahead and get logged back in. And once we're logged in, it should give us a message, not that one. It's giving me that one because I haven't registered this version of Windows because it's just a virtual machine that I'm playing with. But this is the message we're looking for, the system restore message. So it shows that it completed successfully, um, it was restored to this date and time, and your documents were not affected. So the system restore is done when you're having issues with software installations mostly. Alright, so we'll go ahead and close that, close that, and we'll just minimize that. Um, that pretty much covers everything for this activity. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them for me below, and I'll see you in my next video.